We are coming up on 645 with so much talk about the spread of the flu or the coronavirus. Most doctors agree one of the best ways to avoid getting sick is to wash your hands a lot. Yeah, so the question is, what's the best way to wash your hands? Megan Key got answers after conducting a science experiment in a lab. <coughs> You can't escape all germs, but you can take steps to stay healthy while living among them. You always hear you should wash your hands frequently. So what's the best way to do that? Old fashioned soap and water or alcohol based hand sanitizer. We conducted a science project to test what's best. With the help of the lab's Petri dishes, we set out to compare germs on hands. We cleaned one hand with soap and water, and we cleaned the other with sanitizer. Now first I'm going to try this experiment with my dirty hands. It's been a couple of hours since I last washed my hands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my fingers onto these Petri dishes, and then we're going to incubate them and see how much bacteria grows. Now we're going to try the experiment now that my hands are clean. This one washed with soap and water and the other cleaned with hand sanitizer. We're going to do the same thing, press them into the Petri dishes and see how much bacteria grows. Well, the results are in and it just might surprise you. If you remember, I had two dirty Petri dishes here and this is before I washed my hands. Now, as you can see, they're both showing about the same amount of germs on each of these. But what's really going to surprise you is the difference between hand sanitizer and soap and water. On the sanitizer side, you can see that there's quite a bit of germs over here growing, but over on soap and water, it doesn't look like much of anything, just a speck, if you can see that. So from the look of our experiment, it seems that soap and water might just be the best way to go. What do experts say? Most agree it's debatable. It just depends, but, but you, will, you will do a better job. With, with soap, just because of the actual manual job of, of cleaning, getting into all the nu nukes and cre crevices. Sanitizer will kill off a, a good portion too, but it's, it's just not gonna get everywhere. In the soap and water, you wanna clean your hands at least 15 seconds, maybe even longer. Hand sanitizers work really good from public areas that have full of bacteria, such as nursing homes, schools, hospitals, areas like that. They're quick, they're easy. You can do them multiple times during the day. You don't have to look for a sink. The takeaway, experts say whether you use soap and water or hand sanitizer, make sure you use it frequently. Megan Key, Eyewitness News. And that's the key from Megan. Uh, Megan will continue her series of special reports on fighting germs tomorrow with uh, how often we should really clean things around the house. Just think about it. When was the last time you scrubbed down your, uh, do you scrub down a smartphone or wipe down your smartphone, makeup brushes or your refrigerator? We'll break down the best ways to clean those items and what you can what can happen if you don't do that. So look for that from Megan Key tomorrow on the Eyewitness Morning News at six. Good series. And I always thought hand washing was the best, Dave. <laughs>